In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Wednesday, the 29th of May, 2024, eighth week in ordinary time. And participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Bridget Oya Kamara, celebrating her golden birthday today from Freetown, Sierra Leone, text for us the first reading. Barbara Jessica Nyemba from Vindok, Namibia, celebrating her birthday today, text for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father George Omondi, who celebrated his priestly anniversary on the 23rd of this month, a spirit and missionary working in Nairobi, Kenya. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. You have been ransomed with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. First Peter chapter 1, verses 15 to 25. Beloved, you know that you are ransomed from the fertile ways inherited from your fathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest at the end of the times for your sake. Through him, you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere love of brethren, love one another earnestly from your heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord abides forever. That word is the good news which was preached to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm is taken from Psalm 147, verses 12 to 13, 14 to 15, 19 to 20. The response is taken from Psalm 147, verse 12a. And the response is, O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He established peace on your borders. He gives you your fill of finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. O Jerusalem, Glorify the Lord. He reveals his word to Jacob, to Israel his decrees and judgments. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his judgments. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. Gospel acclamation, taken from Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Alleluia, 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 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man came not to be saved, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 10 from verse 32 to 45. At that time, the disciples were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. And they were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. And taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him, and spit upon him, and scourge him, and kill him, and after three days he will rise. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the child's? that I drink, or to be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized. And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, The child that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. And when the ten had heard it, they began to be indignant at James and John. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are supposed to rule over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man also came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Before coming to this very interesting gospel, I want to link it to the first reading of today. And so I start with the first reading so that I show how this is connected to the gospel passage of today and the message that the gospel has for us. St. Peter, in the first reading of today, explains to the people that their lives we are not ransomed, we are not redeemed by anything material, by anything that is made of gold, something perishable, silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. If that be the case, then our aspirations must not be based on gold, on silver, 
on anything that shines for a while. No, our lives must be based on something that is permanent. Our value must not be determined by the positions we get, but by the person we become in Jesus Christ. And this is what Jesus was trying to tell his disciples on the way to Jerusalem, even went ahead of them. He was in front of them as he went to pour out his blood for humanity. And they were following behind, afraid. In the process, they didn't want to focus on the journey that leads to the cross. They wanted to focus on the journey that leads to gold and silver. And so the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus and said, Grant that two of us may be at the right and the left in your kingdom of gold and silver. Grant that two of us may have something temporal because we don't understand what we are asking for. You do not know what you are asking for, says Jesus. Are you ready to drink of the cup that I'm about to drink? Are you ready to drink of the cup that will make me shed the blood? The blood that I am going to pour out for humanity. Are you ready to be that sacrificing in your life? That's the most important. Live your life for others. That's the most important. Don't live your life for yourself. Don't be selfish. Learn to think about others, not about what benefits you in your life. That's where we go wrong. And we think our greatness will be in the things we acquire on earth or in the papers that we achieve. Our greatness lies in following Christ the servant of servants, in becoming servants to one another, in making sure that we look for something that lasts, not what gives us only temporary recognition. How many people have fought tooth and nail to make sure that they attain political mileage in their lives and they ended up not even finishing their term of office? With all the struggles in their lives in wanting to get the first position. And they died without achieving what they were looking for. To just show us the futility of wanting to be up there. If you want to be up there, there is something more of value. There is something that is lasting. Even when you get that political mileage, do not give up on your God. Hold on to something permanent on this side. While you are looking for gold, make sure you cling to God. Because that's the only thing that is permanent. Everything else is just for a while. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Wednesday to you. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.